Welcome back. Today we're talking about one of the shorter arcs in Naruto, the battle between the Faded Brothers. Now, of course, this arc stops starts off with Sasuke, confident he could take on Itachi, like he should, like he should. Now we get the cool Itachi moment where he make Ita- make he- wait, make look Sasuke to the left. And at that point, Sasuke should have left. He should have been like, I ain't got no chance. But he stayed. He gave his brother a good fight. Obviously, Itachi was holding back in the fight to not kill his brother. So, that's all out the way. But let's talk about the fight itself and the importance of that fight. This is the fight. Well, this was the crossroads where if Sasuke killed Itachi, he would have he would be going deeper and deeper down the dark path. Very much deeper. And it it does happen. Now, this is what's going to satisfy his vengeance. And the lesson you could take out from the arc, or at least that fight, is that even if your vengeance happens, even if your revenge happens, and you think justified with that, it will never fill the void that the other person left. And it will keep poisoning you and keep making you angry instead of making you happy and peaceful. And laughing and smiling. Anyway, the fight goes cool. First time you see a Susano, cannon wise with Itachi. She Orochimaru bust from Sasuke's neck. He gets sealed, or a version of him gets sealed inside of Itachi. Sasuke ends up passing out. Itachi fades away, passes away due to his illness, due to a chakra exhaustion, and his illness does eventually take him from the fight, and we get the lovely moment where he pokes his head back, in awe. Now, later on in this fight, <laughs> well, later on in the arc, Obito, or Toby at the time, picks him up. Toby does pick him up. Toby tells him the truth about Itachi, the truth about the village, and how the village used Itachi to eventually bring peace to the village, even though it waged war against Itachi. Now, we have to talk later because the faded, uh, the faded fight between brothers does end right where he attacks the f- uh, the five the the Hokage the great Hokage war room arc. He goes sees Killer B in his Taka outfit. With, the, with his Taka team and the Akatsuki outfit where he's in the Akatsuki just for a little bit. Not for a big bit. A little bit. Not a big bit. Low. Very low bit. I don't know what's going outside my room, but a little bit. And he goes, tries to capture the A-Tails. He thinks he got it like that. Now Sasuke, of course, is still being, going blind. He's losing chakra. He's going blind. He's He overused his, uh, uh he overused his, current mind get yo in the fight against itachi now he knows this and karen keeps healing him so he you know doesn't die or go blind in the fight now killer b does put the work on him killer b's writing rhymes rap rapping he's saying sasuke is bosque you know one of the raps is nice sasuke's not being nice wrap it up in some rice now he turns and she writes come on now that's a boss anyway he tries to hit killer b killer b is of course playing with him he's killer b's not taking this fight seriously at all because even killer b notices how much you know blood or how much exhausted sasuke is now this is the first time where you see where you receive a little bit information with jinchurkis and kenjutsu where the tailed beast can knock you out of the Genjutsu, depending how powerful it is. But then again, then again, I think it is how powerful it is. So it, it does get wonky in the future. Anyway, Killer Beat works him. That's that. Now, of course, the favorite fight, the my f- most favorite fight in. This arc would be Itachi vs. Sasuke. That's a top five fight in Naruto, period. Of course, you got the drama, you got the arc, you got the music, you got the choreography, you get the action, you get everything with it. Of course. Now, how would I rate it? 
I'd rate it a 10 out of 10. Because you get the revelation. You get the love. You might even get a little bit of filler. You even get a Killer B fight. And Killer B really don't be fighting as much as he should be in the later half of Naruto Shibuya. I blame it on filler. But it is what it is. Of course. Now, let's rate, rate 10 out of 10. Favorite moment? Hitachi versus Sasuke fight. Of course. Now, the question I like to ask to my viewers, whoever seeing this, whoever showing this to their friend, would you have preferred if Sasuke killed Itachi? Because we know Itachi passes away. He doesn't, Sasuke never kills him. He just passes away. But if Sasuke landed a clean hit and ended up killing his brother, do you think that would have been a better way to end the fight? Then Itachi just simply passing away. Let me know in the comment section below. Like and subscribe. Share. Follow my socials. It will be in the description below. And nice seeing you.